All right, guys, uh, YouTube saying that we are live. So hopefully that is the case. I'm going to just hang out here for a second, uh, make sure people are seeing us. Oh, here we go. Okay, we got uh, we got people going going off in the comments right here, seeing some stuff. All right. Um, so uh, we're going to be doing Knives Live today. So welcome to Knives Live. <laughs> we're going to be looking at some new arrivals at Blade HQ. It's just me and the phone again. And uh, we have some awesome new arrivals on the table. We're super excited about that. I want to stress, as I did in the last live that we did, we're probably going to be doing this uh, for the next little while, just because the way that things are in the world. Got some comments popping up here. What's up, guys? Um, and uh, I want to. I just want to stress, um, we are we are keeping moving forward at Blade HQ. We are shipping 100%. We're we're taking orders at 100%. Everything at 100% right now. Um, so I'm going to show you some awesome knives. I want to sit here and talk about some cool knives with you guys. But I have to stress that if you're not in a place to buy knives, don't buy knives. Just take care of your own stuff. Everything will clear up with what's going on in the world, and uh, you can buy knives later on. So I just want to stress that before we, we get rolling here. Um, we just want everybody to be safe. We want everybody to have a good time. And that's one of the reasons we're putting this video out there. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of distraction from some of the craziness out there in the world. Um, so you guys know Jamie will be in the comments. Uh, we're not obviously anywhere near each other, but uh, he is a remote with a computer. So Jamie will be in the comments commenting with you guys because last time I just wasn't able to keep up with all the awesome comments you guys had had going on. Um, cool. Well, I think that we've got some... Oh, I see Jamie in the comments right there. He just said hello. <laughs> Looks like we've got some stuff, um, some people showing up. So let's jump into some new arrivals at Blade HQ. So we're gonna jump into the one that's in the thumbnail that I'm sure a bunch of you guys are excited to see. Um, this is the CRKT CEO. Uh, this is the Blade HQ exclusive one. So green micarta D2 blade. It's got these really neat uh, colored liners. Oh, you can kind of see it there. Colored liners and backspacer. And uh, this is going for $59.99 right now on the website. $59.95, yeah, $59.95 on the website. And uh, this thing is a awesome gentleman's carry, an awesome executive knife. And um, we only have a few left right now. So we had a bunch yesterday, a bunch of you guys bought them, and we only have a few left right now, but we are gonna get a restock. So if you're watching this video in a few days and we are sold out, no stress, we're gonna be getting a restock. So put your name on the wish list, and we'll have more soonish. Um, I really like the CEO a lot. Uh, it kind of flies open like it's assisted. I mean, the thing, it's not, but it just flies open like it's assisted. It's really good. So yeah, somebody asked if I live at Blade HQ. Basically, I do <laughs> live at Blade HQ. <laughs> um, in Utah, we don't have a shelter in place order yet. And so we are obviously social distancing. Um, uh, most of us are working remote, but I am coming in every day to make sure that uh, we're getting content out to you guys, to make sure that uh, we're, we're helping out uh, packing your orders. I mean, everybody's just kind of pitching in to make sure that we keep this machine rolling. So yeah, so I, I basically live at Blade HQ. <laughs> All right, uh, next up is a really exciting one. So we have the, this is the Giant Mouse Clyde. This is the Ace, Giant Mouse Clyde Ace. And this is the um, brass version of it. So really, really nice blade here. Trying to see, get the glare off of it. Ah, that looks pretty good. Okay. Um, so yeah, M390 blade, everything that we love about Giant Mouse. Good old Jesper and Jens making these awesome knives out there and just comes in a brass edition. You got this uh, coated black pocket clip, which is also pretty cool. Most of their pocket clips are a silver. And rumor has it that we might have a copper one coming at some point, which would be really, really cool. So anyways, brass Clyde right now, we only have a handful of these left on the website. So this is something that you guys are into. You definitely want to get it now. It's got a good weight to it. I like the weight that it has. Um, I actually, I think I like everything I've ever handled from Giant Mouse, yeah. I've, had, I've liked everything I've ever handled from Giant Mouse. Um, I have a Clyde, I have a G10, black G10 Clyde, um, but I'm really digging this, uh, this brass one with the uh, black backspacer and black pocket clip, black hardware, just kind of a cool knife. So that's a new one that we have here at Blade HQ uh, in M390. Uh, we got uh, er Earl Bush uh, from Kentucky. How's it going, Earl? I'll try to give you guys some shout outs as I see people pop up there. <laughs> Let Jamie know what you guys have in your pockets. He's in the comments, so he'll be uh, he'll be saying, "Oh, hey, Jamie said hello to you too." We're gonna be double, doing double work today, I guess. <laughs> um, somebody was asking a motorcycle question. Who was asking a motorcycle? Ask your motorcycle question again. I'll see if I can catch that or not. 
Uh, I'm not seeing it. Yep. Never mind. No motorcycle question. All right. <laughs> so next up, new arrivals at Blade HQ. Um, if there's a motorcycle question, Jamie can answer. <laughs> um, new arrivals at Blade HQ. We have a bunch of stuff from Olmec, and of course, I'm going to ruin the front flip on that one. This one here is the Whipper Snapper. So this is the Whipper Snapper. Um, it's got that kind of r the rock titanium pattern that you can see from Olmec from time to time. Um, this is, uh, this one goes for $595. It's got a 20 CV blade, full titanium construction. You've got the, uh, stainless steel insert there on that titanium, um, frame lock and, uh, just a lot of details. If you guys haven't ever paid attention to Olmec, um, and you're looking for kind of just like a knife with a lot of details, that just is kind of pretty. Olmec does a really good job with that. Really premium materials. Get in here. Yeah, you can kind of see there's this, let's see if we can focus. It's always fun doing it from a phone. We jokingly call this a, the potato cast because it's like we're shooting it from a potato. <laughs> Jamie, you guys, if you guys don't know, Jamie's very particular about how we shoot things, and that's why our videos look so dang good. So he's definitely uh, struggling with us having to shoot from a cell phone right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just just a lot of, oh, here we go, that's better. A lot of really neat details on these Olmix. And this one is the Whippersnapper. So we actually have like a ton of new Olmix. We have some Wayfinders, we have some other ones. So yeah, jump on the website. 20 CV blade on this one. You're always gonna get something interesting with Olmec, for sure. All right. Um, next up, we have a Civivi knife. So this is the Anthropos, which is a knife that they've released before. And it has this like, I went to thumb flip it, but I wanna show you guys. It has this actually, just this little itty bitty flipper tab that's got some, let's see if we can get that to focus. No, it's not gonna focus. But it has some jimping across the back here. And so these things just fly open, even with just that little tab. Nice light knife. Um, it's got a uh, Damascus blade. This is an Elijah Isham design. I'm actually not sure what the handle material is on this one. It's obviously, it's a wood, but I don't know. Sandalwood. So this is a sandalwood handle on this one. Um, this is a new arrival at Blade HQ, Damascus blade, sandalwood handle. And you know, it's a Civivi, so you know it's gonna be awesome no matter what. Really with Civivi, I mean, Look at the centering on that thing. Every Civivi knife, perfect centering. And these are like $60, $70 knives. This one with the Damascus blade and the sandalwood, this one goes for 102. But Civivi knives in general, very, very affordable. And you're always going to get just that stellar action, perfect centering. Um, yeah, we love Civivi knives. So anyways, this is the Anthropos by Elijah Isham. Great little knife. Um, I know everybody's been crushing on the Elementum, and rightfully so. But we don't have any right now, I don't think. Uh, check the website. Um, but we do have a bunch of other uh, Civivi. So if you're looking to get into a Civivi, we have a ton right now, including that new one. All right, so this next one's actually a shout out to Jamie. Um, <laughs> Jamie, uh, we have a bunch of new Victorinox classics on the website. We just kind of have a bunch of different scenes and stuff like that in them. I'm trying to get that to focus. I'm using a different phone today, guys, and we were hoping it would have a better frame rate, but it's looking like it won't focus as well as the other one. Anyways, um, so this is a guy fishing, you know, and uh, we have a bunch of new Victorinox classics with a bunch of different things going on, or a bunch of different patterns. Um, but Jamie saw this one the other day, and he's like, gone fishing. Hmm, that's really fun. So I grabbed the gone fishing one in honor of Jamie. Um, me and Jamie actually went on a hike a little while back. It was in summertime. We went on a hike, like, to the top of this alpine mountain, and we were going to go fishing up there. But there was, like, so many mosquitoes that were eating us alive. So we just ended up getting underneath our mosquito nets and hanging out and talking the rest of the time. <laughs> but yeah, Gone Fishing, Victorinox Classic. There's a bunch of Victorinox Classics right now. These are such great keychain tools. So you throw these on your keychain and you've always got a little blade, you've got a pair of scissors, and uh, this one doesn't have, oh, it, it does. And you've got your handy dandy, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Handy dandy toothpick. <laughs> handy dandy toothpick and handy dandy tweezers. Um, so anyways, Classics are pretty cool. Victorinox, everybody should have one. And the great part is, is if you forget it's on your keychain, these things are super cheap. So you go to a concert or whatever. Well, not right now, but in the real world, you go to a concert or you go to the movies or whatever, and somebody's like, oh, you can't have that. And they take it. Eh, it's fine. You're only out a couple bucks, right? Um, so yeah, so that goes for $18.99 on the website. A uh, bunch of new patterns in the Victorinox classic. Uh, I just saw somebody picked up a new real steel Luna. That's awesome. The carbon fiber ones, those are really cool knives. Really, really cool knives. Um, I guess I said handy dandy. It's true. Handy dandy is a good word. <laughs> I just get talking about knives and I, I don't realize sometimes what I'm saying. <laughs> um, any news on the mini tops slingshot? 
Not yet, but I am also super excited about that. I promise you guys that I'm going, like at Blade HQ, we're going to get as many of those dang slingshots as possible, and we're going to make Tops make more of them if they don't make enough, because that was something that we had at SHOT Show and we played with. It was so much fun. So many slingshots coming soon. Um, all right. Next up in new arrivals, we have the Spartan Blades. This is the uh, Demisus? No, these are all brand new. I don't know how to say those. So D-A-M-Y-S-U-S. We literally just pulled these knives to have them here live. So um, brand new arrival um, from Spartan Blades. Spartan Blades does some really, really awesome fixed blades. If you guys haven't checked out Spartan, definitely check them out because they have some great designs. Um, just hard use thick stock, you guys can see there, just hard to use thick stock um, fixed blades. Awesome knives. Um, this one goes for $195. Um, it's got the 1095 Crovan steel, micarta handles. It comes with a really, really nice Kydex sheath. Um, you know, you can, uh, you got attachment points here to attach it any way you want to. Really nice secure belt carry comes right out of the box. And then it does have a uh, thumb release. So I really like ambi sheets a lot because I always put my knife in incorrectly. Um, but I like this one as well because of the lock. That lock is really a great feature when you have a, a hard use fixed blade. So anyways, um, that's the Spartan Blades Dem Demisis? Demisis? We're just going to say Demisis for now. <laughs> um, and just checking out some comments here. These comments go so fast that it's so hard to read on the little tiny screen that I get for YouTube Live. So I'm just going to keep rolling. I hope all of you guys are doing well. <laughs> all right. Hopefully Jamie's in the comments talking to you guys. Um, okay. All right. So next up, this one was, this is, this knife's just for me. I saw it in New Arrivals and so I grabbed it because I love it so much. So this one is uh, a Bur Boker Burnley Protect Quaken. As we all know, this is the auto, obviously. Um, but it's in that Frank Frazetta um, styling. I don't know, I can't remember which one this is. I think this is, it's a death dealer, but I can't remember which death dealer is on there. But if you guys don't know Frazetta, check out his artwork. He does incredible artwork. Um, yeah, anyways, Frank Frazetta, awesome stuff. This goes for 250 on the website, 150, uh, 154 CM blade steel. Um, I will say that I love the way these look. Like, I really, really love this just because I grew up on, like, old coding comics and stuff like that. Um, but it, they are a little slick. I will say they are a little slick. So if you're looking for something that's just kind of cool, if you're looking for something that maybe is a collector piece, um, these Frank Frazetta knives are pretty dang cool. And I don't even know, I haven't even talked to anybody. Bo Boker, I guess, is the one that has the contract on that. And we just had Karsten from, uh, from Boker Knives here, the CEO of Boker, I didn't ask him how they have a relationship with Frazetta because Frank Frazetta's passed away. And if I remember correctly, his wife or his daughters or somebody runs the estate and everything. So it would be cool to find out how they got that deal. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, next up is kind of just a neat little tool that we saw in um, New Arrivals and we had to grab. This is the Smith & Wesson. I kid you not. Smith & Wesson 1117239 vehicle escape tool. So it's a vehicle escape tool. So right out of the box, it's a USB charger that you put in your cigarette lighter, your charger, whatever you call those things now. But kind of neat, it has a, um, let's see if I can get it to, man, this phone just doesn't want to focus. But it's got a seatbelt cutter right there. And then it also has a glass breaker on the top. So you just plug it into your cigarette lighter. Um, it charges your USB devices or whatever. But if you find yourself in an emergency situation, right in hand's reach, you have a seatbelt cutter and you have a glass breaker. Now, I've never been in a situation where I've needed a seatbelt clutter or, or glass breaker, like, you know, uh, end, ending up with a car in water or something like that. So I can't, obviously, I can't speak for the exact useful nature of this particular tool, but I did think it was clever at minimum um, because it puts the tool in a place that you're always going to have it. I mean, you're always charging your phone and stuff in your car, um, and it gives you the two tools you need the most when you're trying to escape your vehicle. So kind of a cool deal, and it's 12 bucks, 12 bucks on the website. So this is the Smith & Wesson Vehicle Escape Tool. You can pick one up for 12 bucks on the website. Um, let's see, I'm getting some calls for pocket check. I have a pocket check at the end of this. It is a project we've been working on. So I'm gonna tease a little bit of a video that we have going. Um, so yeah, I, I will give you guys a pocket check at the end of this. Um, somebody said, get more Protex in stock. So funny story, I just showed that Quaken Protex. Um, and now I have, I'm gonna skip ahead in my papers because I'll show you guys this thing since we had a Protex comment. Um, so as you guys know, the uh, Protec SBR is my favorite uh, Protec. And recently, Dave over at Protec, let's see if I can get this. 
has released a new blade coating. It's an espresso blade coating. So kind of right in here and across the logo, you can kind of get it. It's hard with the phone, but you can see how this has kind of got a really subtle browned blade finish to it. And these things are beautiful. I think we have them in Godsons, we have them in SBRs, and I think one of the TRs, TR3 maybe? Anyways, in this espresso finish. So um, some not new, new Protex, but new blade finishes on the Protex, and they're just absolutely gorgeous. Um, this, this one in particular goes for $199.95. Um, but yeah, SBR, if, if you're looking to get a Protex, SBR, just get an SBR. You don't have to even get this SBR, get whatever SBR tickles your fancy. But uh, with, the knurled with the the knurled handle, the deep carry pocket clip, and uh, it's just a snappy little auto. It's just perfect for getting all anything that you need to get done. So SBRs are sweet. The uh, new espresso finish is also sweet, and that's new new at Blade HQ. I think those came in like yesterday. All right, get back to my my order I had here. Um, <laughs> so we have. Uh, we have to say it, I have to show you. You guys know, bug out, you know what it's all about, but this is the CF Elite bug out. Now, if you guys watch, see if we can focus a little bit. If you guys watch Jamie's knife banner that we did, you guys will know that Jamie doesn't buy a lot of knives. And you also know that he carries the bug out more, almost more than any other, no, definitely. He carries the bug out more than any other knife. He got an OG blue one when they first came out. Then he got the, um, the one with the green handles. I don't know if he got a blackout or not. I think he did get a blackout bug out the blade hq exclusive and then just yesterday he bought one of these cf elite bug outs like bought it and so um it's a big deal when jamie buys a knife so this is jamie approved he's in the comments so ask him what he thinks about it um but the big thing with the cf elite guys is that they are um impregnating this uh material with carbon fiber which makes it a little more rigid and it's actually a lot more rigid so you can see there i'm squeezing down on that not really getting any flex at all so it just makes it uh, a lot more rigid, keeps it super, super light, and everything you love about the bug out, just a little more rigid. A lot of people complain about the flex on the bug out scales. I don't see the big, what the big deal is, to be honest. I don't carry bug out all the time like Kurt and Jamie do, um, but I use the bug out pretty extensively for a lot of stuff. I've never had a problem with it ever. And you guys know I'm hard on my knives, I'm breaking knives, beating up knives all the time. Um, so that CF Elite goes for $144.50 on the, on the website. Um, all right, next up, we have a James brand. This is the Ellis. And I don't know if you guys have seen this yet, so I figured I would grab it and show you guys. Um, James brand's been doing some interesting stuff lately. Um, more and more, they're creating these knives that I think more and more people are getting into. If you guys have seen the James brand Carter, the James brand Carter is an awesome knife. A lot of people really love that knife. Um, so it's got a combo blade. It's got kind of this uh, flathead screwdriver pry bar deal, and then it's got this bottle opener. Um, but the cool thing about it is that it's a lockback. So it has these kind of high ridges for the lockback. So you just, oop, and then it unlocks the knife. So kind of a cool knife. Um, they come in a bunch of different um, flavors. This one in particular, trying to find out. Yeah, this is G10. So this is a, this is a G10 handle, kind of a, a really neat um, color, but they do come in a bunch of different handle types and colors. You can pick these up on the website. They just landed a couple days ago. So this is the James brand Ellis, and it goes for $99 on the website. Um, I really like the big lanyard uh, hook there. I think that's really cool. And then I also li like this kind of like fatter pry. I mean, you could probably even use that as like a hammer pommel, which would obviously flatten it out a bit, but that's probably what I would use it for. Um, but I really like this thing. I think, it's, I think it's really sharp. That's one thing you can say about James brand. Um, they always have sharp designs. Um, yeah. Uh, does the James brand come without serrations? Nate K asked, I don't know. <laughs> They're like brand new on the website. I think they might. Um, I know James Brand likes their combo blades. And so I would imagine that they do have a plain edge version on the website. Check bladehq.com to find out. <laughs> Hopefully that's somewhat helpful. <laughs> All right. Um, so next up, we have a, a little knife from LT Wright. This is the LT Wright knives. This is the Lil Muck, not the Little Muck. This is the Lil Muck. Um, so this is the Lil Muck. And uh, it's just a really neat LT right fixed blade. So nice little compact fixed blade. You guys can see here, it's got some brass accents, nice finish. These things come out of the box, just razor, like scary razor sharp. Um, this particular one is uh, A2 blade material, all made in the USA. Um, comes with a beautiful leather sheath. And uh, yeah, 
just everything you'd expect from from uh, LT right. So I really like LT right. They make some incredible fixed blades. Uh, Kurt has got himself an LT right. I haven't yet. I need to. Um, this particular one's not my fancy. Um, I like the the kind of the, the broader belly on it, but I when I'm looking for a fixed blade, I look at something that's a little more utility based. Um, but this does hint some of that uh, tops bull trout that I like so much. So about the same size when you hold it. And uh, like I said, with LT right, you know that you're always going to get good quality. So. Uh, American made, really great knife, really great sheet, and it goes for 85 bucks on the website. So for 85 bucks, um, it's not a big, bad deal at all. All right, finally, I've got a beefy fixed blade. Um, this is the Metford STA Scout Sniper Fixed Blade in Coyote. Um, yeah, <laughs> D2 blade. I mean, you know, it's got a bit of stock to it. Uh, somebody earlier had said that the Spartan blade was a thick boy, two C's, and let me... Let's compare that. So you can see the difference there between the Medford and the Spartan. Uh, Medford doesn't play around, guys. Like these, uh, <laughs> he makes he makes some pretty thick tools, man. Um, so yeah, so this is the Medford. I really, I like the look of this. I like that kind of burnt finish that he's put on the blade. Um, I like the G10 handles. I like the way that it feels in hand. And uh, like I said, with a Medford, like you just know you can just abuse it forever because that's what they're built to do. Um, comes with a nice Kydex sheet, kind of this cool uh, Medford Knife and Tool um, logo there. And then of course the uh, clip on the back. So you can attach it to whatever you like to attach it, attach it in multiple different positions. Um, that goes for $400 on the website. So these are all brand new entries to the Blade HQ website. Um, and that's, that's everything. That's all the new stuff that we pulled to show you guys. <laughs> That's all the new new. So um, as you guys know, we're gonna be doing this uh, format for the next little while. So I need your guys' help. Um, let me know either in live chat or let us know in comments if you're not watching this live, who would you like us to have a conversation with? So we have a lot of friends in the knife world. Uh, we know tons of makers, we know tons of manufacturers, we know tons of guys that are just into the EDC scene, um, into the shooting scene, whatever it may be. And uh, we're going to try to work with those guys and gals. There's some gals out there too. We'd love to have them on. And we're going to do some kind of like live stream knife banners, um, split screen, that type of thing. So let us know who we should work with. Let us know who we should get on. Um, I'm seeing some some good suggestions. We've got Lucas Burnley. We just had a Lucas Burnley um, uh, knife banner recently, but we always love talking to Lucas. I saw Peter McKinnon. Peter McKinnon would be awesome to have on. If we could get Pete on, that would be great. Um, but let us know. Let us know who we should do. Hinder. Hinder would be awesome. I'm seeing some great suggestions. So fill up the live chat, fill up the comments, let us know who we should work with. And next Friday's knife banner will be with somebody awesome. And we're just going to sit down. We're going to talk knives. We're going to talk designs. We're going to get a little deep, little nerdy because at the end of the day, like just need something to do, I guess. <laughs> so we hope all of you guys are doing well. I can't stress enough. We want to make sure that you guys are good. Um, before you support us, but we are so very, very appreciative of your support. Um, it means the world. There's a bunch of people that work at Blade HQ, um, but buying knives, you guys are helping them stay, stay busy, helping them pay the bills, all of those things. But like I said, number one importance for us, legitimately, number one importance for us is that you guys are well and that you guys are taken care of. And then once everything balances out, if you're not able to buy knives now, no stress. We'll, we'll, we'll have some sweet uh, stimulus cells when everything levels out. <laughs> so we hope everybody's good. Let us know who we should be working with in the future. Let us know which one of these new arrival knives was your favorite. Make sure to hit subscribe, hit the notification bell. We've got a lot of fun comment content coming your guys' way. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one.